The political scene in Sudan is becoming more volatile. More than 100 people have been killed in anti-military protests since October. Protesters remain camped in Khartoum's main cities in an effort to force the military to step down. We don't care if Burhan says he will hand over power to civilians and form a security and defense council with the same generals in the sovereign council. We want Burhan to step down immediately and go to his barracks. These are our demands. Thousands of protesters have been camping here in Khartoum for more than a week. Despite the promise by the leadership to pave the way for democracy, protesters are calling for an immediate handover to civilian leaders. The head of the Sovereign Council, General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, has offered assurances for the democratic transition. But Sudan's main opposition groups have rejected the offer and signed a pact to resist it. We want the military to step down from the political and economic scene. This foundation has prevailed since 1956 and has never been removed. Our demand is to reconcile and limit the military role in the political life and to punish it for all of the crimes and violations. The UN political mission in Sudan has cancelled week-long talks and says the military is pulling out, is suspending resolution plans for the political crisis. Independent analysts like Ashraf Abdulaziz warn of looming unrest. A confrontation is expected between the political powers and the resistance committees in the military. Before General Burhan's speech, the political compromise was possible, but now the situation could get worse as every party clings to its position. The Sudanese people are hoping the military and civilian leaders quickly resolve their differences so that the country returns to stability. Naba Mohideen, CGTN, Khartoum, Sudan.